Hey guys, Toy House here, and today I want to talk about the events of this week. I want to talk about the launch experience, which I'm sure many of you, many of you are very frustrated with. I also want to talk about different bugs that are present in the game, some that got fixed and some that are still there. And then at the end, I also want to talk about how you can get your honor marks back if you were expecting them in the mail. All that and more coming up right now. So the launch experience, this was interesting. It really threw me off, but Originally, the launch was supposed to be at 3 p.m. PST, but was delayed at first until 6 p.m. PDT, then again until 10 p.m. PDT. And, you know, guys, honestly, I, you know, I was getting ready for this. I was all prepped, you know, got my coffee, got my tea, all my caffeine in my body, playing some other games while I wait for that, you know, for me, 5 p.m. CST launch. I was, uh, I was ready. I was hyped up, caffeinated, ready to go. Then I saw it got delayed until 6 p.m. PDT. So for me, that's 8 p.m. And I was like, doesn't matter. I'm still going to be up all night. It's it's no problem. Or at least I'm going to push as much as I can. And then, you know, pretty much like five, you know, I'm spamming trying to log on. I'm afraid of a queue. Like five minutes before, you know, uh, 8 p.m., I'm, I'm like spamming it, trying to get in, getting that error. Uh, it says, you know, uh, there's no servers available, error, BLZ, bunch of numbers. Um, and then when I saw that it was delayed until 10 p.m. PDT, that is midnight. That is a four hour increase in delay. I was, I don't even know. I was so like, I didn't even know what to think. I, I was just like, I have to go to bed. Like, like maybe if I get those four hours of sleep, I can hit, you know, wake back up and, you know, be ready to go and then pull an all nighter for midnight, you know, just midnight. And that's when my day starts. My day starts at midnight. Um, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to bed, set my timer. I even looked online. There's other people doing the same thing. They're like, all right, I just took some sleeping pills, just drank a beer. I'm going to pass out and then I'm going to wake back up at 12 PM. Everything's going to be good. So yeah, I went to bed, put, put my timer for, for midnight. I could only sleep for like, like a half an hour, maybe an hour. And then I was like, all right, I'm ready, ready to go. And just, you know, anxiously waited. And then again, <laughs> as I got out of bed, you know, got my contacts back in, went in front of the computer. I was like really groggy, but I was like, doesn't even matter, man. I got to do this. Um, it was delayed again until 3 p.m. Or sorry, 3 a.m. CST or 1 a.m. PDT. So I was just like, oh, man, like I have been betrayed. I have been betrayed. Like that was the the strongest feeling of betrayal I think I've ever felt. I was just like, I can't believe how Blizzard did this to us. So, so much for a May 18th pre-patch. So pre-patch actually came out in May 19th. Um, because, <laughs> because of delays. Um, yeah, it was crazy. I mean, I was on the forums, like joining, joining in hands with you all, calling them a small indie company and all that good stuff. Um, but you know, you may wonder why did this happen? Well, uh, there was actually a statement released and long story short, it had to do with the copying of data. Now, some data was lost during copying. So they had to revert everything back and then start copying over. That's what that big block of text says, summarized. So really, um, I guess it makes sense, but man, that was terrible. Um, it kind of just felt like a carrot was being dangled in front of us, right? And just right as we were about to get it up, uh, pulled up, right as we we're about to get it up, uh, pulled up. And then, you know, fool me once, you know, shame on me or shame on you. Fool me, fool me a second time, not, not get fooled again, you know? <laughs> like they, they dangled it three times in front of us. And they pulled it up three times. It was pushed back three times. It was crazy. It was it was super betrayal. I don't know. But I'm just so glad it's up. Been playing a bunch of beta. And today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the bugs. And uh, what, what's fixed and what's not. What's intended and, and what's not. So obviously all add-ons were broken for the first day. But as of today, which you should probably be seeing this sometime around you know May 21st. Pretty much all add-ons should be back functioning. I personally like to use uh, this desktop app, which is called CurseForge. It can automatically download and update your add-ons for you. It's really fantastic. Highly recommend you try it out. We're also going to talk about Honor. So Honor was really bugged. Um, so if you played the first day of pre-patch, you were probably seeing a ton of Honor. So um, there's actually a post. Someone was actually comparing Honor gained from 2007 to 2008, and you can see to comparing that to what we're getting now. And you can actually see back in 2008, if you won one Arathi Basin, you'd get 167 honor points. 
Now, if you played TBC Classic today, or I guess yesterday, or you know, the first day of pat pre patch, the winner side would get two thousand two hundred and eleven honor points, which is crazy. That's more than ten x. And then if you go and compare AV wins, uh, winning back in two thousand seven, you'd get four hundred and eighteen honor points. But now AV, you'd get three thousand five hundred and twenty five honor points, which is crazy crazy awesome because who wants to be in bgs you know for for 13 hours a day you know for two weeks straight and then you get your bracers <laughs> but no but seriously i mean uh i think people really liked the bug anyways blizzard you know found out about this responded to this post and said that um they found the bug and they're hoping to deploy a hot fix soon which is now enabled which reduced the the honor by a factor of 10 so um, back to the amount it's supposed to be. So you can see now, um, you probably get around two to 300 uh, honor per battleground, which is significantly less to say the least. Um, yeah, I think this is definitely stirring up some discussion about how difficult it is to get gear. Uh, it's definitely a grind fest. I mean, if I'm honest, I remember back in the day, uh, I'd have like, we'd take turns, like all, all the friends, like we'd have three WoW launchers open, us three, we'd have one of us just you know, working, <laughs> working three characters at the same time, trying, trying to keep them all in BGs and then just rotate. Um, because it just took so long to, 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 you know, grind up your honor. And I remembered like sticker shock. I remember I played on Atlantis Karazhan and I was looking at some of the honor costs and I was like, geez, man, I only got 200 honor from this battleground. Like, how did I do this back in the day, back in 2007 while I was a kid in, in school? And like, yeah, I was able to just literally grind battlegrounds all day to get that gear. But I mean, resilience is so good, and that's a stat um, on your PvP gear. It's so good that it's worth it. Like you just become so much more powerful than all the other players in PvP once you have that gear with resilience. Anyways, that's been fixed. What hasn't been fixed though that you should watch out for? Well, the leatherworker trainer bug that's going on right now is that all leatherworking trainers that are supposed to be able to take you into artisan training so once you hit 225 you're ready to move over to artisan they don't have that option for you both horde and alliance trainers do not have the ability for you to learn artisan leatherworking this is a current bug that people are experiencing no statement from blizzard yet i think this may have to do with uh, them nerfing drum drums <laughs> i think they're just like you know what can't <laughs> can't use drums if you can't learn artisan leatherworking ha <laughs> ha ha but, you know, in all seriousness, there is actually is no way to learn Artisan right now. Unless you already have it, that's great. Now, I want to talk about, there's been some cross-realm speculation. So, Blizzard actually did respond to this bug. So, the bug was that you could actually cross-realm chat. You could whisper other people from other realms. You could actually queue up with them for Battlegrounds. And you could even go into the same instance with them. You can see here the screenshot, uh, some cross-realm... Um, you know, instances going on there. Uh, so that is uh, a bug and uh, that has been hot fixed so that there is no more cross realm grouping, whispering, etc. People thought that maybe this was uh, something that Blizzard was going to implement, but that is not the case. Now, the other bug that was going on that I have to tell you about is losing your mail. So there were some... Um, Basically, people are trying to exploit this trick where, um, you know, you would you can only have a max of 20 marks in a battleground. Um, you know, if you win a battleground, you get three. Well, the maximum was only 20. So what they would do the day before pre-patch is just start playing a ton of battlegrounds. And then um, since the marks are still going to be in your mailbox for 24 hours, they figured, well, by the time the server comes back up, I'll be able to get my battleground marks and they won't expire because the max you can hold has increased from 20 to 100 in the Burning Crusade. And now a lot of people found that their marks were actually lost during this time period, um, unfortunately. So, you know, they kind of just wrote that off as um, they're gone and there's nothing they can do. However, you can actually recover these items through the item recovery system so if you're expecting marks and you did not get them in the mail you can hopefully use the item recovery system to get them uh, there's actually a thread on reddit about this um, so that that is really awesome uh, you could follow that to uh, go ahead and work through recovering your marks so if you use that exploit congrats to you you'll be able to continue and uh, have a bit of a head start but not as big of a head start as those who <laughs> played a bunch of battlegrounds and got 10x honor for a day, which a lot of people are upset about that those those 
you know, those people basically got to max out honor in a day while everyone else is scrambling to catch up. But anyways, guys, that's the roundup for this week. I hope you guys, uh, you know, are enjoying pre-patch as much as I am. I'm basically just leveling up my new Draenei Shaman. I hope you guys are enjoying doing that or your uh, Blood Elves, whether whatever class they may be. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope to see you in the next video and uh, see you next time. Take care.